Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's May 10th, 2021, and it is time for a Fat Pack Frenzy, because you gotta believe in the Fat Pack. Uh, all of my Fat Pack lots have finally arrived. We are gonna rip six Fat Packs today. We're also gonna look at uh, a big crop of hot box cards that I uh, ordered off eBay. Those are so beautiful. But first, in the dugout today, two Yankees, one positive, one sad. First up, the sad, my guy, Miguel and Duhar and do can do Miggy two bags. He got to come back to the team. He didn't really deliver at the plate. He had no hits, no RBIs, didn't really do a whole lot, no fielding issues. Um, but you know, I felt like they, they just do him a disservice when they do this. They bring him up, they send him down. He doesn't get enough playing time. And so he doesn't have time to really deliver. Uh, and we got Voight coming back and Urshela coming back. So there just isn't room for him. I hope he can wind up somewhere. Uh, if not with the Yankees somewhere, just let the kid play because he does have a lot of talent. He's still very, very young player. Uh, of course, beautiful Allen and Ginter frame mini, but also in the dugout. Because he finally had himself a Glaber day. Glaber Torres with his first homer of the year yesterday. Uh, Yankees basically two walk-off wins with duck snorts, little like, you know, oopsie base hits and whatnot. Uh, can't almost get it out of the infield, but they wind up winning games. Uh, but for the first of the year, finally off the schneid. Hopefully the power stroke is back for Glaber. So congrats to him. Love those tops rip cards. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the hot box cards before we get into the frenzy. I don't even remember what's in these. I think I got the whole lot for 20 bucks, I think, give or take. Starting out a little sad there with the pool holes. Let me know in the comments if you think he's going to wind up somewhere. Is he done? Is he never going to get another chance? You know, I think the deal with the Angels is he want to play every day, and they said no. Hello, Starling, my old friend. Beautiful. These are so hot this year. They new definition to hot box. These are super hot. Get the ranch dressing because these are hot. Woo, nice. Jose Ramirez. Oh, there's Glaber. Actually, let's give Glaber a stand. See, I don't even remember what was in these. I just know that they are pretty. Nice, pretty good little first batch there. Set those over there. Second batcher, Mama Mookie. They came like this, so I got to give credit to the eBay seller. He didn't top load them, but at least he gave me a plastic case uh, for all the cards. Dodgers losing series. They're scuffling, but, uh, you know, never count them out. Beautiful Mookie bets right there. Dig that. Let Mookie shine. Ryan Braun, who, I don't know, is he playing at all? Oh, all rise. Judge not hitting bombs, but... Here and there, kind of just poking it around. Hopefully he can, you know, get some. He went, oh, it was just a dreadful stretch there for a while. It was like 0 for 15 or something. And then he had a game where he was like 0 for 8 or 9, all strikeouts. Just brutal. Little Tatis. I think it's my second Tatis. Love that. Castellanos going out of his mind this year. Although I haven't really checked. Maybe he's not going crazy right now. But first ballot Hall of Famer, Miggy Cabrera. And Trevor Bauer. Nice. Good little crop there. Can't complain. I like it. They are stunning. I like that little... I just made that up, you know, a second ago. Get the ranch dressing because these are hot. I like that. Someone... I give permission for someone else to use that as long as I get a little credit, a little love. Leave a comment. Was that a great line or what? Okay. Let's get into the frenzy. As always, check the description below for the links to the Clary Goldberg Scholarship. See cards you like, they can be yours for a pledge. I'm so excited to rip more heritage. Now, the one downside to fat packs uh, when you buy them online like this is you can see through the sides. And so the odds of getting a hit really are probably pretty slim because if you were going to get something that was extra thick, you know, a relic, an auto, something like that, it, you would see it almost right away. So I gotta imagine all the resellers are looking at them and they're going, yeah, we're not gonna send that one out for six bucks. But uh, let's hope that the player to be named later can actually buck that theory and deliver us something cool. 
will go kind of quick because, again, not breaking any new ground here. People have seen nice Fergie Jenkins. We've all seen ample heritage. This is really about my love of heritage and the Heritage Chronicles. Nice JBJ flying in air right there. That looks awesome. Nice little Joe Adele in action. I don't think he's up, right? He's not even with the big club. Where is Joe Adele? Is he hurt or something? Pujols is gone. So might, that's, a, that's a roster spot for Joe Adele, you would think. There we go. I wish that I could find these, you know, where I didn't have to have the person behind the counter at Target get them because then you, you still can't look. But when you get, you know, back in the day, we used to be able to sit there and look right at them and hold it in your hand. You could tell if you had something in there. I wouldn't call that pack searching when it's just, like, blatantly obvious. Like when I had the Allen and Ginter dual auto relic booklet that I just had picked it up on the show. Hey, there's a, there's a booklet in there. I wasn't searching for it. Just plain as day. Funkhauser. Great name, man. Cody Belly. Alec Bohm. Grichik. Alec Bohm. Doing pretty well. Philly's uh, hanging in there. Not You know, that, that NL East, it's definitely interesting. I know Bryce Harper said he thought that they had the best team, but, you know, it's going to be a dogfight, I think, throughout the year. The lesser known, but I don't know if equally as good. Still very, very good secret, brother. These are one of the crazy cards. I mean, eight guys on a leader's card? That's just the NL. They only played 60 games. Come on. Joey Gallo. Joey Bart, who uh, is in uh, Sacramento, playing with the kid. I shared it uh, on the... That's really cool. I shared it on the community tab. The kid from Vegas who attempted suicide shot himself in the head, lost an eye, uh, and then he's now with the same team uh, with Joey Bart. The River Cats, I think they're called, or something like that. Pete Alonzo. He's coming around. Hitting some bombs. I think I had that key Brian before as well. Waiting for him to come back. Also showed on the community tab that I discovered I had his auto from Inception. From a break that I thought was terrible at the time. Turned out to be pretty good. Especially if he can come back relatively soon and have a great rookie campaign. A Bregg showing he doesn't need to know what's, uh, what the pitch is to hit him out. Wound up the Yankees the other day. Mauricio Dubon, I'm so glad I pulled this because I, this is my request to the fab subs out there who collect uh, and just anyone you want to mention this to. The Padres broadcaster, Don Orsillo, loves this guy for his name. Mauricio Dubon. Anytime they're, they just played a series with the Giants, he goes crazy over the name Mauricio Dubon to the point where his color man, Mark Grant, sometimes teases him and calls him Mauricio Orsillo. So if you have Mauricio Dubon cards, mail them to Petco Park in San Diego to Don Orsillo with a little note that says, Card Collecting Shenanigans told me to send you this card. Let's see if... I'm going to send it. Let's see if we can't make that happen. Nice. Double up Joey Bart. That would be so incredible if like, he just started getting a massive crop of Mauricio Dubon cards. I had that the other day. I was like, you know, if we could just get like a hundred people to just throw, you know, throw a stamp on an envelope. You don't have to get fancy. A little post-it note or something. Just throw it in there. So card collecting shenanigans told me you love Mauricio Dubon. You could even address the letters as like, Dear Mauricio Orsillo. That would be hysterical. Maybe he would talk about it on, on uh, during a game, during a broadcast. But my theory here is holding true. Uh, you can see through the packs, and so the odds of getting a special hit or some chrome or whatever, very low. The reason I don't 
uh, really get too crazy sad about that theory, Christian Pache, is because the autos are the real one. Autos are basically they're on the regular card stock, so you really wouldn't know if you had you know a real one auto in there. And so that's kind of what I was hoping would happen. But if we get the last pack mojo here, a little something something doesn't look like it. I don't see any chrome. Nada. But them's the break sometimes. Luke Voigt, he's tearing up the minor league, so he'll be back here probably next day or so. Le Machine got paid and decided to not be a 300 hitter anymore. Hopefully he can bounce back a little bit, start raking again. Are you a believer? He's, he's throwing, that's for sure. He's racking up them Ks. Pretty franchise. Dylan Carlson, not bad, not bad. And Patrick Corbin, well, not the greatest. At least we got the hot box cards, which are beautiful. As I said, send Don Orsillo your Mauricio Dubon cards. <laughs> uh, that would be so funny. But leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of today's not so great break, but still a lot of fun because, you know, we love some heritage. I uh, look forward to reading those comments. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the Broadcast Booth.